The beauty of having an RGB gaming setup is that you can basically have any kind of color scheme that you can imagine for your gaming setup, which is always cool because you can just change it straight away. It's super easy. And today's video is all about wallpapers, color schemes for your gaming setup. As in my previous video, I posted a full gaming setup tour. You can press on the card up there to go watch that one. But in that video, I got so many comments specifically kind of about one wallpaper actually and that was the spaceman one the astronaut wallpaper that i showcased in the setup tour video so many people asked me about it so i figured since so many people want to know about what kind of wallpapers i use where i even get my wallpapers in the first place let's make this video let's let the people know where i get my wallpapers but hopefully by the end of this video you are gonna come out with a badass looking gaming setup with your cool new animated wallpapers animated time on your wallpapers is just gonna be sick. In today's video, we're gonna be using two bits of software. One being a wallpaper engine for the whole animated wallpapers thing. They have an enormous library of different wallpapers made by the community, made by different artists. So Wallpaper Engine is genuinely the app to go for if you want animated wallpapers that also sync up with Corsair IQ. They sync up with Razer Chroma. It is just a beautiful app. It's not free though. So this Wallpaper Engine app, I think it costs $4 on Steam, but if you've bought games on Steam before, pretty sure you can spare $4 for the Wallpaper Engine app. This video, by the way, is not sponsored by Wallpaper Engine, nor will I make any kind of commission from Wallpaper Engine if you press on my Steam download link to buy and download the Wallpaper Engine app. I have no affiliation with any of these companies. I'm just making a cool video about wallpapers. Yeah, Wallpaper Engine is what we're using for the wallpapers. And the second app is, of course, Rain Meter. Some of you may have heard of it, some of you may have not. It's probably not as common as the Wallpaper Engine app, but this one is free to use, free to download. Uh, you won't get animated wallpapers. Actually, maybe you will to an extent. Rain Meter is pretty cool. There's a lot of add-ons, a lot of like extensions and different themes that you can download. It basically adds like interactive and animated elements onto your desktop. Let's jump into the PC behind us and play around with some wallpapers, play around with this Rain Meter app. Hopefully it's gonna be a pretty beneficial video to everyone watching. All right, so first things first, Wallpaper Engine, this is the app. Once again, link down below in the description. Oh look, it's even cheaper. So maybe in the US it is like $4 or whatever. In the UK it costs $2.99. Now Wallpaper Engine has a crazy amount of settings that you can play around with. It genuinely is an amazing bit of software. But I do wanna mention that there will be a performance impact if you start cranking up a bunch of settings within Wallpaper Engine. Obviously there's gonna be a performance impact on your PC. But anyway, back to the software. So at the minute, in terms of my monitor setup, I've got three 1440p monitors and you can have a different animated wallpaper per monitor. If you want that, you can also stretch a single wallpaper across all three displays, across two displays, across 50 displays. I don't know how many monitors you're rocking, but chances are you can stretch your wallpaper across how many ever displays you need, mate. So we also have the clone wallpaper setting, which is what I've been using for this wallpaper as it's not a triple monitor wallpaper. However, triple monitor wallpapers do exist and there's actually quite a lot of them over on Wallpaper Engine. You can just simply go to the workshop tab. Now bear in mind, there's also a lot of like anime and uh, probably weird wallpapers that you should probably avoid at all costs. But there are also a bunch of super, super cool wallpapers, even ones that react to music, these wallpapers come with music visualizers. They have Razer wallpapers, they have Corsair wallpapers. Oh my God, they have freaking everything, I bet. Let's see, Corsair RGB logo, what the heck does... There's one Corsair wallpaper? Steam workshop servers are offline. Have I just picked like the absolute worst time ever to make a video? One eternity later. Corsair, there can't just be one Corsair. There we go, that's a bit better. Corsair got a bunch of different wallpapers as well. So if you're team Corsair, you're covered as well in terms of wallpapers. Let's take a look at the Logitech ones. Of course, there's not just company ones, but obviously if you're a fan of these brands and you're rocking a Razer gaming setup, a Logitech gaming setup, a Corsair one, you know, there's wallpapers to match whatever kind of theme you're going for. Uh, but yeah, you know, plenty of stuff here for brands in general. Let's take a look at um, the Spaceman one. Yes, oh my God, so many people asked about the Spaceman wallpaper. So here it is, man, this, this is where I got it from. It's called Spaceman Triple Monitor. Once again, I'll try to leave a link down below in the description if I can 
to the wallpapers that I feature as well. So if I can, I'll try and leave a link down below for the Spaceman one. So you can just download it straight away and you don't have to go into the workshop and be searching up all these freaking wallpapers, not knowing what they're called. All the ones that you saw me use in the setup tool video, I'm gonna try to leave it down below in the description. So you can just check them out. You can use them yourself if you want. Up to you, of course. Uh, you can also change the playback rate of the animations that a wallpaper has. Different wallpapers have different animations, different wallpapers have different settings. This techno wallpaper that comes with everyone's wallpaper engine by default, if you don't want the wallpaper, you can just remove it, of course. But in this case, this is a pretty good example of uh, the color schemes that you can manually customize on a wallpaper. So at the minute, this one is obviously white and red. However, we can hop on here and we can change this to now be like a blue and white. Right, so I set the techno wallpaper to stretch across all three of my monitors, which is what it did. And I also set the color scheme of this wallpaper to be blue with the accent color being pink or purple. And as you can see on my keyboard as well, not only has the wallpaper effects changed and changed color because I changed the whole color scheme, but my peripherals changed at the same time. And that's simply because I enabled the enable LED lighting effects tick box right here. Just make sure you have this enabled and you also have the wallpaper engine installed within Razer Synapse. And if you just go over to the connect tab, you should see under the apps tab, you have wallpaper engine. For some reason, I have two wallpaper engines. I'm guessing one of these is like the 32-bit version and the other one is the 64-bit version. Now, I can even sync up Colo Light by pressing a button on my Elgato Stream Deck. I hope that, yeah, there you go, boom. Colo Light has now just turned itself to blue as well. Right, let's take a look at some different wallpapers. So, as all of you know, we have this Spaceman wallpaper. How sick is this? This guy is holding... I don't know, is that like a jellyfish or is that... I think that's like a jellyfish, right? Like an RGB jellyfish. And I reckon this wallpaper looks really cool when you set like an RGB theme for the rest of your peripherals. So I just set everything to rainbow within Razer Synapse 3. And I reckon this looks pretty sick, man. We got the full RGB for the PC, rainbow wave effects and everything. We got Razer Chroma just absolutely all over the place. Check out Color Light. Wow. All of this, I reckon, looks absolutely beautiful. You got a little bit of RGB right there and then you just got a lot of rgb so you know if you want to go for this absolutely mad spaceman looking setup theme this is a pretty awesome way to go just max out the rgb on everything dude all right so now that you understand how this wallpaper engine app works let's head over into the razor bedroom wallpaper right here it looks pretty cool and let's take a look at the next app that we have right here it's called rain meter it's pretty cool we have time right here so this is one element that i downloaded off of the internet all of these extensions well i'm, I'm not gonna say all of them probably 99 percent of the apps that you can download for rain meter are most likely free to use and i'll leave links down below to the places where you can find different add-ons and different elements to add onto the rain meter app so this one here is called sonic we have two variants of it this is variant one and we got variant two which i guess just adds disk space or a little bit more options for you but we have I'm um, guessing like internet usage up down it gives us the weather uh, this is in Fahrenheit I believe so I, it's definitely not 87 degrees Celsius outside I don't think that would be correct but we have CPU usage in real time GPU usage in real time RAM usage in real time as well as the time right here now when it comes to customizing the elements that we have here at the minute, this one has the color scheme of orange. Let's say maybe you don't want orange, but you really like this skin. How can you change that? Well, you'd have to dig around within the code. Uh, luckily, this is all pretty easy to understand. But at the minute, see, this one says font color, minute color, uh, font effect color. Hey, okay. So if you change it from font face one to font face two and then right click and press on refresh that's going to change the font face how do you change the color though white can we just do white white hashtag white make sure you save it that actually worked wow here's how you edit the color it's pretty easy it didn't take me long to figure it out hopefully it won't take you long to figure it out either all right i've edited a bunch of settings right here so we've got font color white font color red and then font color white let's just refresh and boom now we've we've kind of done it uh that's not blinking red it's in fact brink blinking 
Brinking White. So this is basically how you would go about customizing the elements that you download. This is how you would do it manually via a bunch of settings right here. But to be honest, it is pretty easy to use, especially once you get the hang of it. You're just editing tiny lines of code and you can kind of gauge what you should be writing. It's a pretty simple app to use. I hope people don't have any problems when using it and everything. Okay, it's the next day. I've been playing around with Rain Meter. I wanted to give somewhat of an example of like what's possible with this bit of software and the elements that you can add. So I added a time right here. There's a time and date. It says Tuesday. It doesn't that just look absolutely sick. I paired all of this with, of course, wallpaper engine. I've got this dope triple monitor wallpaper with a bunch of things actually moving around and stuff. So there's like particles and everything moving around. It looks absolutely beautiful. Also, Kanye West just dropped a new song with Travis Scott. Wow, very exciting. But basically, all I wanted to show you here was the music visualizer. Check that out, dude. It's fully customizable. And I did want to talk about one more feature about Rain Meter. So some of the Rain Meter apps, they won't actually have a code that you edit. Well, they will, but they'll also have a full settings menu. So we have this full settings menu to control the volume visualizer that I've placed right here. And to be honest, this entire settings menu is like really, really well done. We can adjust skin colors, enable all sorts of cool things, even dynamic coloring, all sorts of fun stuff to configure right here. This entire visualizer luckily works with Spotify as well, but uh, you have to press on this link right here and then just read through the article right here to figure out how to actually use this with Spotify. But I managed to get mine to work, it really wasn't too hard. But yeah man, Rain Meter does have proper settings, it just kind of depends on what kind of extensions that you end up downloading for the Rain Meter software. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to show you Wallpaper Engine, the Rain Meter app, and just ways that hopefully you could improve your entire gaming setup by just having way, way better wallpapers than everyone else. Oh, one more thing that I actually added up here as well was icons, so you can add like interactive shortcuts and everything. So we got Google Chrome, we got Spotify, Asus Aura Connect or whatever. So pretty cool app right here. As always, links will be down below in the video description to where you can download the Rain Meter app, the Wallpaper Engine app, all the extensions. I'm gonna try leave the extensions down below in the description as well. I'm sorry if I forget some of them because I don't know if I'll be able to find all of the extensions that I downloaded, but I'm going to try leave them in the description for you if I can find them again. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. By the way, for those of you that are still watching this one, I just ordered a new CPU for this PC because I've tried to really step up the quality of the videos lately and hopefully you saw that in the setup tour video because I literally spent days and days working and editing the setup tour video. Hopefully you enjoy the actual quality of it and everything I'm trying to improve and I realized oh my god my 2700x CPU can't keep up anymore so I ended up picking up the uh, 3950x is gonna be quite the upgrade I've doubled my cores again dude I went from a quad core to an 8 core to now a 16 core Ooh, I can't wait all right hope to see you in another video soon goodbye <laughs>